love the metallic pearl, white, whatever you want to use. It's a, called metallic white, but I don't think they make this anymore. They just took it off the shelves, which bugs me. The Anitas. I'm going to just spread that around. And normally, I would tell you to, um, after you apply the pearl, to go in one direction. But because we're doing an ornament, um, I don't mind if it's patchy, the uh, metallic. So, it's going to give it a little interest. And we talked about that a little bit last night. And we talked about it inside the Christmas tree challenge about how to make your paint not blotchy. And to do that, which if it's, if it's a metallic and you're wanting a really smooth metallic background, somebody made a mad face. Let's see what's happening. Uh, what you're going to do is just pull, after you get all that paint on, just pull in one direction. And that's gonna smooth out any like irregularities in your canvas. We're not gonna worry about that because we're about to add some gold. So got our metallic pearl. Let me offload some of that pearl. And still got my little black spot there. I'm gonna add a little bit of gold. I'm gonna add about a pea size amount of gold. And we're just gonna swish that around and just give our canvas a little something extra. I don't even know how we're gonna do it. Let's just get it on and then we'll decide how we want it to look. Got a little too much. I think I'm just gonna swish it in one direction just to give it a little irregularity, but it won't be super messy, all right? I'm trying to keep that big blob of uh, black from showing, all right? So just a little bit of a muted gold, all right? So let's get a look, a little gifty, a little surprise gift. And let's get this dry so we can just keep going. And while I am drying this, yes, rose gold is gonna be fun. But let me tell you, we are out of stock of the rose gold, but I'm supposed to have my order tomorrow in that fun Saturday delivery. I'm supposed to have some in tomorrow, so just be patient with us as we navigate having an average of 250 orders a day. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna um, get this dry, and I'm not gonna paint my sides on this one. That's Leslie, um, for, for me, I don't paint my sides much when I'm doing a live, mostly because it's time consuming and I don't normally sell my art. I either give it away or, you know, I, most of the times I give it away. Yeah, they are good for your car. But, um, so I don't, I just don't waste the time while I'm live doing it, but that's a personal choice for you. You do that, All right? So my gold was deco art. And my pearl was Anita's. Okay. So if you have any questions for the two minutes I'm doing this, I'm happy to answer. Red and pink are big this year. Oh, good, because we're gonna do rose gold. It's gonna be super pretty. All right. Thank you for the sprinkles, ladies. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll do a little giveaway. We'll be gifting, let's gift this little art piece that we're making right now. We're gonna gift it. We'll gift it over the weekend to someone who sprinkles the love. Thank you, Gina. Uh, all you need to do to get in uh, the giveaway gifting hat is Sprinkle the love, let your friends know we're here. Um, let them know that we're making pretty art all the time and invite them to come and join us. Come back here and let me know you sprinkled and we'll put your name in a hat and we will um, give this away. We'll gift this to somebody who sprinkled, okay? So let's, I wanna let that cool off for a second. 
Helen, I didn't put anything on it yet, but we talked about that earlier, about what I was going to, and I'm gonna use D-rings and wire, all right? I think I'm gonna hit this for one more second. It just feels a little damp. Pumpkins, yes, the pumpkins. Thank you, ladies, for the sprinkles. That helps with our algorithm as well. So somebody gets a prize and I get a boost in my algorithm. How about that? All right, I'm gonna let that cool while I look for something that I can use as a basis for my ornament. I need something the right size that is round. And I'm gonna find something right now in my goodie box. perfect circle for my ornament. Look at that. It's an ornament. <laughs> that This is actually um, half of one of those plastic ornaments that they sell at Hobby Lobby. Uh, they sell these in like sets of six or something. And um, it, it's, a, it's two pieces, obviously, and they come apart so that you can put goodies in here. And I use these sometimes for um, um, what am I, th jellyfish or other things, but we can just use that to uh, shape our ornament. So I'm just gonna put it on here and I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm just lightly going to trace around with my pencil. And create, I'll fill that in and create my ornament. So that was perfect. That was fortuitous, was it not, for that to be in my little box. You could totally, okay, idea here. Okay, you could totally like use half of this and you could do like foil or paint the inside. We might, oh, that's a good idea. We might actually, I might while I'm painting, throw a little paint on the inside to see how well it sticks because this is pretty scratched up. Uh, you could totally just use that and just put it on with your resin and that could be your ornament. So maybe we'll do that as well someday. All right, so I've put my little, I've traced out my little circle for my ornament. So now I think what I'm gonna do is just trace out, um, I'm gonna sketch out the, oh my eyeball. I'm gonna sketch out the top of my ornament. So um, I'm gonna have it like pointed to this corner, the little top. So we'll just add a little topper and we'll make that a little round and we'll have a little hook coming out of it. All right, so now let's add some greenery, okay? So let's add off of here just a holly leaf. So let's come out, hook, hook, hook. Nah, I didn't like that too much, but that's okay. Hook, hook, hook. And then we'll come out again, hook, hook. Two leaves, then we'll have a little bit of pine needle action going here. And let's do another holly, boom, boom, boom. And boom, 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 boom. I'm just sketching away, y'all. All right, and we'll do an evergreen here. And let's do one more. Uh, uh, uh. And We'll connect those in some way, and then we'll do an evergreen right across where the hook is so that the piece is hooked onto something. How about that? So we have three evergreens, three groups of holly leaves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Well, we don't really have the partridge in a pear tree, but that's okay too. So the first thing we're gonna do, because I feel like the, the uh, Rose gold is going to need uh, more than one coat. 
So let's find a pink that we can use, rose gold. I got a couple of pinks right here. That one has glitter in it, but it is really, really, really uh, sheer. So let's look at these two colors with our rose gold. This is rose shimmer. I think that's the ticket right there. This one is called Fruit Punch, but it's a little too pink, I think. So we're gonna put him back and we're gonna use this one. So this one is, let me grab something to squirt on. This is the Folk Art Rose Shimmer. And, ouch, my elbow. We're gonna squirt just a little bit of that color. Thank you for the sprinkles. Yeah, this rose shimmer is really pretty. We're gonna put our first coat on our ornament. So we'll use this for that. Let me grab a brush, just a flat brush. It's about a half inch. It's not even a half inch, it's probably a three eighths. All right, I'm gonna go in. We'll get this first coat on our ornament. All right. This is gonna be pretty and it, it is gonna need two coats. So I'm glad we started here. Let's go around. I have to hold my breath when I do the edge because I got a little bit of arthritis in my hands from years and years and years of handiwork. So we'll get this covered and then we'll work on the leaves while this is drying. Now, earlier we were talking about Inside the Shattered Circle, the benefits of being a member. So the benefits of being a member Inside the Shattered Circle is this actual tracer, the tracer for this art piece, as well as a full supply list and a link to this video is given, where's my top, there it is, to our Shattered Circle members, um, for everything I do, including this piece right here. So they'll get the tracer and they'll get the supply list and all the goods. They get all the goodies and all the goodness, okay? So while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna grab a little bit of a smaller brush. This one is a note of oh, this is a number eight. It's about a quarter inch brush. And we're gonna work on our leaves, all right? So I'm gonna get um, plantation pine. I know y'all hate me for that. It's hard to find, but it's literally just a dark green, right? We're gonna squirt some of that out. I think, there we go. And I'm also going to use some Hauser Green Light. And, yeah, I gotta get the little dried boogery thing off. Hang on. Let me try again. How's our green lights? And we're gonna put a little white on our plate because, you know, the white paint goes on everything. A little white paint. I keep all my colors together so I know what I used. I don't wanna get all mixed up because that happens really easy to me without even trying. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint with the light green. First thing I'm gonna do is I got some wild hairs. It looks like my eyebrows when I get up in the morning. Just wild hairs flying everywhere. Let's get those off. Cause I don't want them getting where I don't want it. All right, trim down. That's why I do my, <laughs> that's why I do my eyebrows in the morning. All right, and I'm just gonna put one coat of this Hauser Green on all of these little um, holly leaves. And it's not gonna look pretty yet, guys. This is kind of what we call ground coat. So this is just the beginning. Sometimes your art has to be ugly before it can be pretty. 
This is the ugly stage. So let's just get our I gotta make sure I don't talk while I'm doing that because it'll I'll mess up and I'll have a green ornament. Let's do this one. Get that filled in, just like coloring in a coloring book. I hear Steve back there bagging glass. How awesome is that? He is a trooper. He has just put up with us girls the last few weeks to the point where I don't even know. I don't even know if he's gonna stick around. He is gonna be like, whoa, I'm out of here, sister. Hopefully not though. He's been a good sport. All right, so let's get these holly leaves ground coats, ground coated. They don't have to be perfect either. No leaf ever in the history of time was perfectly shaped. So yours, your painted ones shouldn't be either. Well, that perfect circle is because I cheated, Karen. I cheated, I used some, something to trace. Yeah, if it was me, it would not, if I had to like sketch that with my hands, no. No, 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 no. I'm good, but I ain't that good. Not even remotely. So, let's get, there is, our next set, so we're gonna kind of fudge this one and get it closer together and kind of overlapping. So I'm gonna make it a little bigger, a little bigger. That is terrible. That is not a good leaf. And we're just gonna go with it. Let's bring that out. It should be like a, a, a curve hard curve. This is a big old leaf. All right. And now what we'll do, let that dry while I paint the top of my little ornament and should we paint that silver or gold? What do you guys think? Let's see. Let's see. Let's paint it. I'm trying to see what's on my desk. Nothing. Nothing silver and I don't want to do gold because then it will just blend in. Let's try this. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have something. I got something. We might use hang on sorry guys hang on give me one second so i have this i tried to use it the other day and i couldn't get it shaken up enough but we're gonna try it and then we're gonna put something on top of it actually we're gonna use the gold and then put this on top of it which is glittery we'll look at that in just a second let's get the gold back Let's get our goal back. Let's just fill in this little bit of our topper. And then we're gonna dry it and I'm gonna add some of that glittery stuff. That's about the only way I'll use glitter. I am not a fan of glitter. Y'all don't hate me, but I'm not a fan of glitter. I think mostly because I'm a little bit of a neat nick and glitter to me is like the messiest thing in the universe. It drives me crazy. But when you stick it in paint, that's a whole nother story. I'm gonna dry this so I can um, keep going without putting my hands in everything. So let's take uh, 10 seconds and use our heat gun to dry the paint. Let that cool 
for 10 seconds. Oh, by the way, this is from Hobby Lobby and it is Folk Art Glitter Fine. And the color is gold. But look at that. Can you, can you tell how glittery and fun that is? That is gonna be really fun. And it has a little pink flash. It flashes kind of pink and blue, purpley, but I think that's gonna go really well with our, it is the herpes of crafting. I think that's gonna go well with our um, rose gold glass. So I'm gonna give this another little touch of gold and then we'll put that fun stuff on top of it. I just don't know for sure how um, opaque that uh, glitter stuff is, so I wanna make sure my gold is nice and solid. All right, I think we'll do that. All right, now while we're waiting on that to dry, I gotta put that where it goes. While we're waiting on that to dry, I'm gonna drive, dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat of pink. This is the metallic pink. It's called Rose Shimmer. We're gonna get another coat on that so it's nice and solid as well. That'll give us that gold a little time to dry. Then we're gonna do our evergreens and our leaves. And I don't know, how many people, how many of you guys, not my members, because I know y'all painted uh, pine needles uh, before, because I love doing them, especially in the fall and winter. But how many of you guys have done pine needles, like evergreen branches? They're super fun to do, super fun. All right, let's see if that's dry. I think it's dry enough. Let's check this out. Let's see what this look, looks like. Oh my God, it looks like a dried uh, chunk of d disgustingness right now. Let's see if we'll even have anything to use. It might be, look at that. It's just dried up nasty. There's nothing liquidy. In, oh, maybe, 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 hang on. Maybe. We may have to dig in it. Let's use this. Don't that drive you crazy? I don't think I've ever used this, and I don't think I've really had it that long either. No, there is nothing Bible in there. That is very disappointing. <laughs> that is very disappointing, y'all. That's just thick as mud. Well, poo. Let's see if I have something else. Let me take a peek. That is just disgusting. Let's see, now I've got this disgusting blob of ickiness on my little thing too, my napkin. Let's see if we got something else. That's going in the trash right here. Let's see. This, oh my God, y'all. Okay, I have to show you these colors. These are some colors I think I got at the end of the year last year or the beginning of this year, look at these colors. I know I am um, going off on a crazy thing, but look at this red and gold. Is that not beautiful? This is called Red Rouge. Let's see if it's all dried up. Oh, it's got a topper still on it, so maybe the other one had been used. I don't remember it if it was. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Can you see it? That is so delicious. Now it's under my nail. Let's see if we can get that off. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know I'm acting like a crazy person. But just stick with me here. Stick with me. <laughs> look. I'm going to scoop this up. Oh, M G. That is literally just glitter in clear paint. Just a clear, look at that. Can you see it? Super cool. Let's try the pink. So that's the red. That's called Red Rouge. Can't use that. Look at this one. This one's called Pink Neon. Wonder what that might look like over the gold. Let's see. 
Oh, that one's brand. See, I've never even opened these. I don't want it in my nail again. Let's get some of that on here. Let's scoop that up. Oh my gosh, y'all. That makes me think of Barbie. Look how pretty. Look at that. Holy moly. We might use that over the gold. I don't know. We're going to save it out here, though. I have one more to show you, and then I promise I'm going to move on because I know I just went off on a tangent. And if you're bored, I'm sorry. <laughs> but look at this one, y'all. Y'all know I had to buy this one. Look, this one is Aqua Meteor. It still has a wrapper on it. Hang on. Look at this. Oh, my heavens. You know I love this one. Let's scoop up some of that. Look at that. Okay, imagine this with the blue azure. Oh, look. Those are so pretty. That's the only way I'm using glitter. <laughs> Yay, look how cool. So I'm thinking, let's try, let's put a little bit of the pink on here and see what it looks like. And if we hate it, we'll just take it off real quick. We'll just wipe it off. They are, hang on, uh, Deco Art. Deco art, no, folk art glitterific is that one. Uh, this one is deco art galaxy glitter. So let's see if this will work for the top just to give it a little extra sparkle. I uh, know, Carrie. And if it doesn't look good, we'll just wipe it off, right? No harm, no foul. Let's just dab. Oh, y'all. No. No. Hang on. Y'all. OMG. Hang on. It's kind of thick. I don't know if it's because it's bit, I've had it a while, but look at this. I'm going to scooch it around, and then I'm going to show it to you because this is so pretty. Oh, we're definitely adding this to the repertoire. Look, I'm going to hold it for a few seconds so you can see it too, but it just flashes a little bit of pink. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop now. I know, I, I just went crazy, didn't I? Let's finish up our leaves. Um, I think what we'll do, I have uh, the dark green on my plate, and we're going to do our evergreens first because they won't take but a sec, and then we can work on our, finishing up our holly leaves, okay? So for my evergreen leaves, I'm using the tiniest little bit of a brush. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to put my hand there. So it, I call these eyelash brushes. Yeah, it would, but if we put it on there now, Carol, it would just cover up. The, gl the glass would cover it up, so it'd be a waste. So I'm going to use this tiny little brush, and I'm going to get some water on it, and I'm going to water down my dark green just a little bit. Just a little bit of water added to that paint because you want it to have like an inky consistency so that we can do our um, pine needles. So you're gonna load it all, all up on your brush real watery, okay? Then what you're gonna do, I'm gonna come over here to this edge. What you're gonna do is just roll your brush between your fingers so it kind of gets that excess off so that you can make a fine line, all right? So let's get started, and I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start here so I don't put my hand in that. I'm gonna start with just taking my brush and going from where I drew that line from, where, from the ornament out to the end. So let's just take, and I'm very 
lightly touching. I'm not pressing down. I'm almost just tickling that paint across my canvas. So we're gonna load it again and then roll it between your fingers so it kind of offloads some of that excess paint so you don't go to your piece and then make a big blob, okay? Now the easy part. You're just gonna start at your stem, that's kind of our stem, and you're gonna very lightly touch and pull. Pull, 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 pull. Load up again, twirl between your fingers, and you're gonna just make little swoops of paints. And don't make them all the same either. Cross over a few, some longer, some shorter. That's one side. Let's do the other. So we'll come up, 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 over, cross up, over, just go crazy. When it starts getting uh, minimal, like you don't have much paint in your brush, just reload it, twirl it between your fingers, and go again. And you, again, don't forget, you need your a paint to be a little watery. You don't want it to be thick. You want it to be kind of an inky consistency. Let me grab a little bit more. Twirl and just add a few more little strokes. All right, so that is one. What do y'all think about that? I keep pausing. So that is one. And you want it to be kind of wild and crazy and messy, not perfect. So let's come over here, and we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna try not to get my hand in that. I will eventually, I promise. So I'm gonna come out from where my little line started, and I'm just gonna bring it all the way to the end. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat, all right? So we're just gonna start at our stem and pull out, out, out. Out, out, out. We'll fill in any holes, because I was spacing them out way too much. And overlap some, some long, some short. And I'm really trying hard not to get my hand in that. Twirl, fill in. You don't want it to be sparse. You want it to have all those good needles in it. All right. I'm gonna bring mine out a little to fill in some space. All right, so we have one more of those to do, and this is the one that our ornament's gonna kinda hang on. So I watered down my paints, and I'm gonna roll my brush so I don't have, it's like saturating your, all your bristles, but then getting off that excess so that, oops, so that it doesn't come out as a big blob on your canvas. So we're gonna pull this right through, and then we're gonna make our needles. Whoops. I always want to go out to in and it always makes a mess. And I always think, why am I doing that? It always works better if you start at the stem. And I, like I said earlier, I am barely touching my brush to the canvas. All right, you don't want to press down. You just want the tips, the very tips of your brush hairs touching your canvas. If you press down, you're gonna get a blob. All right, let's do the other side. Come around. And it's best to, if you just don't think too much about it, just kind of just kind of go with the flow get in your head 
Don't think about it. Just be thinking about good things. So there are our evergreens. So now we'll finish out those hollies. Yeah, it's like you instinctively you want to go the other direction. I don't know why, just how it is. So let's find my little brush again. And I'm going to put another coat of the light green on my evergreens because I like to work wet on wet paint. So if I wet this green, then I'll be able to shadow, use my sh technique for shadowing and blending easily. So we're gonna just wet it. I'm also gonna do one leaf at a time. Get that green paint back on. And while it's wet, I'm just gonna wipe off the excess on my paper towel, just crisscross. I'm gonna grab up a little bit of that green, the dark green, and on my plate, I'm just gonna swish it on, get it on the corner, swish it through, and on the left side of my leaf, I'm gonna just come around and apply a little bit of that dark green on the left side. That creates a little bit of a shadow. Now you're gonna offload. You're gonna grab up a little bit of that white, do the same thing, swish, swish. And then on the opposite side, you're gonna come around and add a little bit of the white, which is gonna blend in and be kind of a pale green. Whoops, not that piece though. On to the opposite side of your leaf. And that will give it a little bit of a three-dimensional look. I am gonna add a little bit more of the dark green down here where it's touching my um, ornament because th that would make it shadow. All right, so now you have a leaf and all you literally did was add a little color on each side. All right, let's do it again. Offload. By the time we do all six leaves, we're gonna be perfect. All right, so we're gonna offload. We're gonna put, put a second coat of green on our leaf so it's nice and coated and opaque and pretty. Offload just a little, grab a little bit of that darker gray, Darker green, push your brush through back and forth a little, and come on the left side again, and you're just gonna trace around the edge, all right? Just come around the edge of your leaf. And we'll add a little on where it touches the ornament too. I'm doing it wrong. Offload, do a little bit of white. Blend it in and just come on the opposite side and add that white. All right. Oops, two leaves down, four to go. So cute. Offload and we're just gonna continue on. Like I said, by the time you get all six done, you're gonna be a master of um, painting leaves. Holly leaves, any leaf really. So let's get it on, let's get it on. Just get your green on because you do, and don't dilly-dally because you do want to work wet on wet. You don't want to fiddle around. Offload, get your dark green, swish it over your brush, come in and Add that dark, I need a little more. Add that dark to one side. I'm gonna go right along the edge of that ornament too. Wipe it off, get a little white, swish, swish. And we're gonna come on the opposite side and just add that white. All right, voila, let's keep going. I don't know why I almost stuck my brush in the water. Habitual. Thank you, Kimberlyn. 
Kimballin. I'm so sorry. I hate when people get. I hate when I get people's name wrong. So let's do this. This next one. We're just gonna second coat the light green. I'm having to adjust my leaves a little bit because I made. I was making a mess when I sketched them. All right, get that first coat of green on. Wipe it off. Grab up some of that dark green. Swish, swish. You're gonna come on one side and I'm consistent, okay? I am being consistent on from my left to my right on my leaves. I'm always doing the dark green on the left side. And it doesn't matter. Like if you're starting and you start doing it on the right side, just keep doing it on the right side on all of them. It doesn't really matter which side you do as long as you're consistent throughout. We'll take that right along the ornament where there's a little shadow. Now we'll grab our white, swish it into our brush, and we'll do that white on the opposite, all right? Looky, looky. All right, two more leaves, and then we're gonna get down to thinness. All right, let's get the original green. We'll get this, this big old leaf first. And Second coat, just real quick. Don't dilly or dally. Wipe it off. Get some dark green. Swish, swish. And I almost painted on the wrong side. We're gonna come around and hit that left side. Wipe it off. That probably would have been accurate, but we're gonna stay the way we're going. And we're gonna come around and do the white. A little bit more. White. All right. And last little leaf. Just in time, because our green is about gone. Wipe it off, dark green, swish. And these are overlapping, so I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna come down on my original leaf, and then I'm gonna follow the outline of the other leaf. So that you can tell this leaf is on top. Let's go to the other side. A little bit of white, and voila. This looks pretty good, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna get this dry. I'm just gonna hit it with my heat gun real quick for a few seconds, because we're gonna add one more, few, one more little detail before we um, add our glass. So let me get it dry. I wanna make sure that's dry too. These colors are fantastic, aren't they? <laughs> Those really are pretty. Can't believe I hadn't even opened the containers yet. Pretty bummed about the silver one, though. That's still kind of sticky. We'll give it a few more minutes. So what I like to do, um, normally if I wasn't gonna add glass to this, I would shadow this as well. I would give this some highlighting and some shadowing with probably a dark red and then some white, and then I would do some line work. But since we're putting glass there, the line work would be moot, okay? And so I'm gonna use my favorite thing in the world because 
Um, because I have arthritis pretty bad in my hands and it's really worse in the winter. Hey girl, hey Jules. Um, hey Joyce. <laughs> this is a pen that I get at Hobby Lobby. Uh, the brand is Master's Touch. It's called a graphic illustration marker. Now you can find these pens in the art department, not the crafty one, okay? You want the art department. Um, and they are, this is a black pen and it is uh, a size three and it's just a fine, look at the point. It's just a fine pointed teeny little pen, okay? So I'm gonna use this to do my details instead of trying to do it with um, a brush because I used to use my liner brush, my little eyelash brush, with watered down black paint to create my, um, I don't think you are, to create my uh, details, but I, I just about can't do that anymore, so we're just going to use the pen. It's kind of my cheating way to add detail. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to start with my leaves, and I'm just going to take my pen, and I'm just going to make little swoop, swoop, and just very vaguely outline, very, kind of messy, I'm not trying to be perfect. And I'm gonna outline, I want you to look at, hang on, I gotta figure out where my phone is. I want you to look at these leaves and look at these and see the difference in the way they look. These just kind of pop now, and you can see I got out of line here, and I don't even care. I'm just trying to give it a little swoop and a little extra detail that is very messy, kind of sloppy, all right? So we're going to go around and around and around, loosey, goosey, short, quick strokes. We'll come up into our leaf, and we're going to do the same thing here, around, short, Hang on, that was wet paint still. Short, quick, loose strokes. Come through your leaf again. We're gonna do this one, is quick. And you don't wanna go, like put your pen down and go around and around and around. You want quick, loose strokes, all right? Loose, goose. Loosey, a goosey, goosey. Let's go up. And we'll go up. And now we're gonna do the same thing to our evergreen, all right? This just kind of fills out the evergreen pine needle part. So I'm just gonna come up and around. And then I'm gonna take my pen and very lightly, I'm not pressing hard doing any of this, guys. I'm just gonna very lightly add a few strokes of this black into my needles and it kind of fills it out gives it a little extra oomph. So I'll show you that so you can see this one has the pen mark. This one doesn't. E -e -e. Let's do it again. I'm just going to come up. Then I'm just going to come out very loose and add some of that pen. To now, I'm going to tell you this, guys. Do not use a Sharpie. If you're new, and you use a Sharpie to do this, you are gonna hate your life because it is gonna run. The resin is gonna smear it. You need to use an archive quality pen, a graphic, an illustration marker, or a water-based paint pen, all right? So the last thing I'm gonna do is outline, I'm gonna outline my gold little topper I'm gonna come around my ornament just a smidge. Most of that's gonna get covered up, but I still have to add my little black hook. And I think I want it to show up a little more than this teeny tiny little um, pen is gonna do. So I'm gonna grab my Posca. Where's my little black Posca? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So this is a Posca pen. This is something you can use under resin as well. Love the Posca. And this is a super fine, I think. Um, it's got a fine tip. See the tip? 
Oh, where's my camera? There it is. So you can make like a fine stroke with that as well. And I'm going to use that for my hook off my ornament. And I might actually just go around this just a little bit again. So that we're going to add our hook right to our needles, right? So check it out. Let me hold it this way. So this is our piece, okay? Now all we gotta do is resin and add some glass or vice versa, one of those, not necessarily in that order, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this paint aside because it's gonna make a mess. And if you are a member of the Shattered Circle, I saw this pop up a few minutes ago and I was too much in my head to uh, say it. But if you're a member of the Shattered Circle, you will have access to this video and the supply list and the tracer and the guides on our page, okay? On our Facebook page. So I'm gonna just take, I saw an icky piece of glass. I'm just gonna take my glass and I'm going to just lay it down. And then I'm just gonna smush it around and get it where I want it. We'll take away or add as needed, but I do want it to be fat. I don't want it to be just a layer of glass. I want it to have some umph. Umph. And might have just a smidge too much. Let me pull a few little nuggets off. We'll pull you off. We'll add you here, your little baby piece. And maybe a little piece here. Let's get you off. So, let's just scooch it in. And here's the thing, sometimes when you're trying to make something round like this, it wants to fight you. But don't fight it too much. Just let it be, and then once you get the resin on there, you can use a toothpick or your beading tool to kind of push it around and uh, make it form to your will. <laughs> Make it conform. Do what I say. Do what I say. All right? So don't futz with it too much and think you have to have it perfect right here. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is, actually, I think I'm going to wait until we put the resin on because I am going to use some of these little red beads that came from Joann's. Uh, but you can get red beads in every craft store in America. Uh, these are just little red loose beads that we're going to use in our holly, and we're just going to lay those in after we resin. That way I don't have to put glue down, okay? Uh, yeah, I sell glass in my store if you're looking for it. I have 26 colors, artshatter.com. Um, I'm a small business, and Amazon is not, so um, I'd love it if you supported me instead of Amazon. Anyway... We are going to mix up some resin, and I am only going to mix up, let me see how much I want. I'm going to get my gloves on while we have this discussion. My glass comes from my store, Alicia, at um, artshatter.com. Catherine, if you could post the link, I would love that. Oh, look what I did, y'all. That is not appropriate. That is not appropriate. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's get our gloves on. I think I'm gonna do, I have a Christmas tree I need to finish. Um, and so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do an ounce. I don't think I'm gonna need an ounce for this piece at all, but I'm gonna make an ounce. And when we're done with this piece, I'll let you know exactly how much we used and then if we have excess, I'll pour it on my Christmas tree. I know we're not gonna have, I know we're not gonna need an ounce, um, but I'm gonna just save the rest for my tree because I have one that I just keep putting little spoonfuls of, of resin on. So let's mix a half an ounce. Let me get a bigger cup. I hate those little ones now. We're gonna mix a half an ounce of resin right there, 
marking on my cup with my pen because once I start pouring, I'm old, and once I start pouring, I can't see those lines. So I like to mark them with my pen so that as I'm adding my resin and hardener to my cup, I can still see where it needs to go. All right, so again, I'm an art resin kind of girl. I use art resin exclusively, all right? Um, the resin is only going to, no, Paula, there is a link pinned somewhere. I think the link is pinned to the top. If it's not, you can click on that little chain link thingy, and it has the link in it. Let me see if I can do that. Oh, I, I don't, I'll get you the link, Paula. Um, once mixed up, you only have 30 to 40 minutes to use it. You use it or you lose it. The cup I'm using is a two ounce cup and I get these from Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna pour in, I got both my balls, I'm gonna pour in a half an ounce of hardener. It, you can go to the Shattered Circle. I seriously thought I pinned the link. and Maybe I did. Can y'all see the link pinned? See, my tech abilities are garbage. They are not good. Me and tech always think, oh, I did it, I made it happen. And then I realize I did not. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> oh, you can see it? Yay. So you can click that link and read all about our membership. It's gonna give you all the gory, wonderful details of everything, all the wonderful things that you are going to be able to access and be given. We have uh, discounts on glass. We have prizes. We have workshops. We have all the fun stuff. So I'm pouring in my resin now so that I have one ounce total of hardener and resin. So a half ounce of resin, half an ounce of hardener, one ounce total. I'm gonna use my little baby popsicle stick for this because I literally, the um, silicone thing I used last night is still stuck in my cup. That's how bad I am. I just walked away and left it in my cup like a crazy person. All right, so I'm gonna stir and I want you to watch, okay? Because you don't beat this. You don't just whip it. You don't get excited and just stir it like mad, like you're making meringue. Hi, Ireland. Hello. I'm not even gonna try. Yes, I am. Una, did I say that right? Please say yes. I hate it when I get names wrong. Um, you're gonna stir slowly and meticulously. Scrape the sides of your cup. Scrape across the bottom. Scrape the sides. Stir, roll tide. Stir, stir, stir. Yada, yada, yada. And you're gonna do this for three minutes, okay? Just stir slowly because if you stir super fast and try to mix this up, it's, you're still going to have to stir for three minutes, but the more, the harder you stir and mix, the more air you're incorporating into your resin, and then it's going to have a bunch of air bubbles. Now, you're going to have some air bubbles anyway, but you don't want to have so many that you can't even get them out with heat, All right? So, make sure you stir slow. Catherine's timing me, and she'll let me know. Yeah, this is super cute, isn't it? And we are gonna be giving away this ornament to one special watcher that has um, sprinkled this page to their friends and let their friends know we are hanging out here making fun art, right? Yes. Okay. So inside the Shattered Circle, just so you guys know, I see a bunch of questions. Uh, almost everything that you need to know about how to color glass, how to color resin, what you can and can't do with resin is inside the Shattered Circle. It's a two ounce cup. Um, so we teach inside the Shattered Circle how to paint your own glass, how to color your own glass with spray paint. And uh, yes, you can use alcohol inks, but the spray paint is easy and super fast, and you can just about get any 
color and it won't run. All right, so we're just gonna keep stirring until Catherine hollers at me. Thank you for the sprinkles. So anybody's name who, anybody who sprinkled, make sure you let me know that you did so. And your name will go in the system and then we will draw, the system is Steve, and then he'll draw a name and somebody will be gifted this piece of art. Eileen, you stick with me, we'll improve your skills. It's literally just about practice. Just about practice, okay? Nothing comes natural, even for me. So there are things that I do not paint well, but I, I know that if I just practiced, that I would be better at it. So just keep practicing, and I promise, if you join the Shattered Circle, I'm gonna teach you how to paint the easy way, because we provide tracers, and basically it's like just a step up from color booking. Coloring booking, color books, colorings, just, Trust me. <laughs> Thank you for the sprinkles, ladies. Oh. So we're stir, stir, stirring. Loving the sprinkles. Hey, Lori. I will, Emmy. Steve has been such a good sport while we've been doing our Christmas tree challenge and while I've been going live and we've been having late nights. We didn't leave here last night till 9 p.m. We were here, thank you, Eileen. We were here for like 13 hours and it was a very long day. So now he's back in the back while I'm live, bagging up glass because we are way behind. Thank you, Catherine. We are way behind. It's like every time we bag five bags of glass, somebody buys six. Yay, Sandra. Yay. Okay, now we are going to start with our glass first, okay? So I'm gonna color my glass, or I'm gonna resin my glass, and I'm gonna use my stick to drizzle, okay? And we drizzle, so that we can get all the resin on the top of the glass all the way to the bottom. Because as we're drizzling on the top of the glass, that resin is running down the glass, running down in between all the glass bits and all the way to the canvas and sticking that glass to our canvas. So it is a permanent situation. So we're just gonna drizzle around, make sure it's all covered, and you know you've done a good job of making sure all the resin, all the glass has resin if you start to see it seep out the outside edge of your glass, okay? That's when you know if it's seeping out the sides, you're doing a great job. And then we're gonna utilize that seepage to cover the rest of our canvas. Y'all don't let me forget the red. So we're drizzling. And so we've used half. So half an ounce. Now I can see that my resin is out. I'm gonna put a little resin on top of there. And I am going to use, we used half an ounce, y'all. I still have half an ounce left. I am gonna just use my fingers and I'm gonna pull that resin that's thick around the edge of my glass. I'm gonna pull that out away from my glass so I don't have a thick ring of resin and uh, just pull it out to my edges. All right, now we may have to add a little, but that's okay too. But we wanna start with pulling it from the glass. All right, now's the time too. I'm gonna add a little bit more right on this edge. Now's the time too when you can push your glass around. So if you have any that's like got a mind of its own and it doesn't wanna stay where you put it, this is a good time to wrangle that stuff in. It wants to, it's like a teenage girl. It just wants to do what it wants to do. 
we're going to ground it. All right, so let's turn it back around. I have some glass right here on the edge. I'm just going to use my thumb to kind of push it in where it needs to be. Get back in there. Smush it in. All right, I'm going to have to pull this piece out a little. I'll just lay it right on top. And that way, this will go where I want it to go. It was a little crowded in there. All right. So now all of our glass is covered. So I'm going to grab up a few of these beads. I know what's about to happen. I'm about to spill these beads all over the place. Uh, Jan, that is super hard to do because it's like pouring a glass of water on your counter and expecting it to stay in one place. It self levels and it's just going to go where it wants to go. So, yeah, you might as well just have control. All right, so I'm going to take some of these little red beads. These are my holly berries, and I'm going to put them right in, in groups of three, right in with my leaves. So we'll grab up a couple. One, two. I'm probably getting resin all in these. One two, three. Oops, I did four. I like odd numbers, y'all. We got to pull that off. Oh, that's a twosie stuck together. All right. Lord have mercy. I don't know where that one even went. All right. I'm going to grab my tool. This is just a beading tool. You can use a toothpick for sure. Just grab and I'm going to just push these where I want them and don't make them perfect. I'll spread my little, and I'm going to real quick just one little drop of resin on top of my beads. Not much. You don't need much. You just want to coat the tops. Boom, boom, boom. Then I'm going to get my heat tool. I'm going to take these off. Okay. Oh, it's by. Oh, it is. <laughs> Thank you, Deanna. Okay, I'm going to take these gloves off. Make sure you pull them off inside out. Oh boy. I'm going to use my heat gun to heat up my resin and pop any bubbles that may have formed while we were um, mixing it up. Now, this comes from Amazon. It's a Seek One heat gun. Any decent heat gun will work. You don't have to get this one. This one cost about 25 bucks, I think. And it is really a nice one. It has variable speed and uh, variable heat. So I like that because the other day I used it to dry my fingernails. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? All right. So now, guys, we're done. Look how cute this is. This turned out really cute. And I love the holly berries with the pink glass. Is that not adorable? Who is going to be taking this home or getting it shipped to them? You don't have to come get it. I promise. We're going to ship it to you. <laughs> is that not pretty? I think um, that we should do a blue one and a green one and a red one and a gold one. These are so cute and it was so easy, guys. It was so easy. Okay. Okay.